Gallagher here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Epic L School Days. And today I'm going to be doing a super super fun video that I think that you guys will absolutely love. So I know that this video has been a trend going around on YouTube during the summer season especially. So what I'm going to be doing is the DIY thrift store challenge but back to school edition. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and run to the thrift store, gather some super cool things that I think that I can turn into really cool locker decorations or just things that I could use during the back to school season. So before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the hashtag Epic Owl fam. Also, make sure that you turn on notifications in case that I do another back to school locker decorations video because I really like doing those, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you guys get notified when I post that video. Let's go to the thrift store. Let's go! We are back from the thrift store and we have so many things in these bags. Well, the things that you guys just saw me pick out. So let's start with this bag first. So it turns out we actually went to two different thrift stores that were like right across the street from each other. But I found some really, really cool things that I think I could turn into something. And all right, so first thing that I got, which you guys probably saw, was this really cool like organizer thingy. Here you guys go. So basically it had like some like index cards or like things in it. All right, second thing that I got, all right. <laughs> it only went like two feet. All right, the second thing that I got is a super cute pink pot. If you guys saw it in the videos, um, I was going to pick out a gray pot and I found this super cute pink one and it was like, a, I think it was like three to four dollars less and it is super, super cute. All right, next thing that I got was this frame because I thought that I could do something like a calendar or just something really cool. All right, so that is my things that we got. Oh, geez, it's falling apart. All right, I'm just gonna put that down like that. And in the next bag, oh yes. Okay, so I got this really, really cute like candy jar kind of thing that I think is super, super cute. And then again goes into like the black and white kind of theme and I could write something really cute on there. Oh yes, and the last thing that I got was this really, really cute heart ceramic little holder thing. What would you call this? Like um, this is only like a dollar and it is super cute and I can definitely decorate it. So here are the five things that we got and I think that it is going to be time to start DIY. All right, you guys, so the first DIY part of this video is me just going to be making over this super cute frame that I found that I showed you guys just a few seconds ago. So basically what I wanted to do was just turn it into a cool calendar. And if you guys saw a video a little bit ago in the summertime that I did the same thing with just a bigger frame. So I wanted to just make a cute like calendar whiteboard kind of thing with this frame. So what I took was just the top of a cool cute card, like just a normal like birthday card or something. And then I put some washi tape on the edges just so that it filled up the rest of the space and so that it would give a little bit of a cute touch on the edges. So I measured it out and stuck it on the back of the frame because it wouldn't fit onto the normal thing. Then what I did was I just added a little bit more washi tape and made sure that it all looked okay. Then what I did was decided to paint the top of the frame because it was silver, but I really wanted to make it white. So I used just a little sponge and I just sponged on some white paint all over the side. Unfortunately, you can't paint on this, but I think it looks really, really cute. Then you can write on it like a whiteboard by just using some whiteboard marker. So 
So the second DIY that I was making was a super super cute kawaii strawberry pot and I just started off with this pink pot that I bought at the thrift store and I just added a little kawaii face by just doing two eyes and then a little kawaii mouth. And also you can add some pink cheeks while you're at that. And now it is time for us to go on to the next step. Actually instead of doing like some like round cheeks I did like little like blushing like line oval kind of things and then I just took like this I think it's actually a nail polish pen but um, it worked and it was good but if you have any sort of like white marker that will show up on the ceramic then you can just add little tiny seeds that are kind of like raindrop shapes but just all over and randomly and I think that this turned out so cute but there was one more thing that we added as well then I just decided to make a little flower crown on the top using some Sharpies and also some green nail polish. And I thought that this looked really, really kawaii and I think that the flower crown turned out really good. Instead of a flower crown though, it was just kind of like green leaves and stuff like that. But I think that that looked really good because it looked like the strawberry leaves. And now it is time for the next DIY. The last DIY was really simple, but I think it turned out very cute. So all I did was just took this pot that I got at the thrift store and I just filled it with washi tape because washi tape is always super, super cool and also has so many colors. So I added a real pop of color to my locker. Another thing that I did was just use some colored Sharpies and just did some polka dots around the outside and I used Sharpies so that they wouldn't come off if it ever got wet or anything like that. And I only found that some of the darker ones, like the dark green, the dark red, and the dark blue were the only ones that showed up. But anyways, then you could just add your washi tape and it's really colorful and ready to go. And then I just added the words washi tape in my pen and then I started decorating. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I did and I really, really liked going to the thrift store and trying something different on this channel. So stay tuned for another video before next Wednesday. If you guys wanna see it, make sure that you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss when I upload. And give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!